We're looking at techniques to improve the SEO on your Jekyll site. And the first thing we're going to look at is this Jekyll SEO tag plugin. Uh, so this does a great job of adding all the meta tags and open graph tags we'd need uh, for, on our site. So let's have a look at how we use it. So I already have the plugin installed and I'm currently in my default layout. And you can see I have this SEO tag here, which comes from the plugin. I don't need any title or description tags because the plugin is going to generate those. Um, so how I actually use it on a page is I just set these variables in front matter. So there's the title, description, and an image, which is used by OpenGraph. OpenGraph is a set of meta tags, uh, which help you control what your page looks like when it's shared on a social network. When we view the generated source code of this website, uh, you can see uh, this section here has all been generated by the Jekyll SEO tag plugin. So it's created a title, open graph tags, description tags, canonical, uh, link, and there's also this JSON LD section. Uh, and this is used by Google and other search engines to do a better job of presenting your site in the search results. Facebook provides this sharing debugger uh, where you can enter a live URL and you can preview exactly what a share will look like and make sure your open graph tags are correct. Next, we're looking at permalinks. Um, so let's say this file here, instead of blog.html, uh, it was just named b.html. Google factors the URL into its site rankings for keywords. So if we wanted Google to pick up a particular keyword, let's say we want it to pick up blog, um, we could add a permalink um, of blog, and then the output URL of this file would be slash blog slash. And you can check out our permalinks tutorial if you want more information about how this works. So that's all the Jekyll specific tips we have today. Uh, and to finish off with, I'm just going to go over some really good general SEO guides. So the first is Moz's Beginner's Guide to SEO, which has 10 in-depth chapters exploring all sorts of uh, topics about search engine optimization. The next is Google's Search Engine Optimization Starter Guide. Uh, if there's one company you should listen to about SEO, it's Google. Uh, this is a 30-page starter guide, which gives a great overview of what you should be doing on your site. And the final resource is a search engine optimization scanner. Um, there's lots of these about, and they'll just help pick up any sort of common mistakes you've made with the markup on your site. So the links to all these resources and many more are available in the show notes. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.